It's 5 a.m. and the puppies are hungry. Feeding five puppies one by one is a challenge. These little guys have to eat every two hours and it takes you an hour to feed them all. You get to go to sleep for one hour and then it's time to feed again. You know, with as many babies I've bottle fed, I've gotten pretty good at holding multiple bottles at once, but I can't hold five at one time. So I just had an idea to like set their bottles up on a couple blankets and I would just put them one by one onto the nipple and they would all latch and I would be done feeding them in five minutes. I had seen a post saying that there was puppies that weren't nursing and they hadn't nursed for a while. I had just gotten back from my honeymoon and I had no babies. I got them all warm and get like one meal into them. I thought they were healthy enough to go off to fosters, but that wasn't the case. We did lose two of the puppies. Yellow started showing the same symptoms as the other two that had passed. He stopped nursing. I was so nervous that we were gonna lose him too. When we started the transfusion, this little guy in the middle of his transfusion started nursing again. He turned around very quickly. That was just like so warming to my heart that he was still willing to actually want to eat. We just picked him up from the hospital. He's doing amazing. He's feeling so much better after his blood transfusion. Huh, yeah, you're getting big and fat. We're so happy you're home. It's chaos. Complete chaos. We gotta get these babies off our bottle soon. It is always really hard for me to wean my babies. We do it very slow. We're working on weaning. So I'm syringe feeding their gruel right now. As you can hear them suckling. They want their bottle. They don't want this gruel. But they still want their bottle. They suckle on everything. You put your hands by their mouth and they're suckling on your fingers. You give them a pacifier and they suckle the pacifier. We are in the weaning process and you can see that that's not going very well. Once we get down to no bottles, they really suckle those pacifiers a lot for comfort. Green will like carry the binky around sometimes. He'll lift his head up and he'll in like moving to another location. Okay, I got the goods. Come on. I got the goods. Come on. Come on. There you go. There you go. Each day they were continuing to eat and get bigger and stronger. They're always dirty. They step in things. We're putting their feet in it, which is okay. We'll wipe them off. They wrestle. They are just the messiest puppies ever. We're going to bathe some puppies today. Look at this boy. Look at this boy. He is filthy dirty. In the beginning, it was like nine times a day. How clean. They are not a huge fan of the blow dryer, but they're babies and they have to get warm. Everybody's so concerned about the babies. Yeah. You see the baby? Sometimes we gotta let her sniff them. To escape. Got an escape. Uh oh. Uh oh. They figured it out. They figured it out. Uh oh. <laughs> The next steps for the puppies is now that they are weaned off the bottle, they are going to go to their foster to continue their care. Oh, then they'll be put up for adoption. Oh, the boys are here. We are saying goodbye to our boys today. They are heading off to their foster and going to the next part of their life, which is getting adopted into an amazing home. Every time we pack up any of our puppies, we usually pack a bag with all of their stuff. And so at anywhere they go, we want them to have the scent that they had here at the house or their comfort. We are packing the boys up to go to their new foster. Lots of toys. We've got their medications that they're currently taking. <laughs> What are you doing in that bag? So we're gonna pack them up and they should be leaving later today. I'm very sad to let them go because they are so sweet, but we have to make room for the rest of the little babies that need us. Say goodbye.